lies you have believed about space. Welcome back, folks, to our channel where we bring you some mind-bending facts and unbelievable mysteries of our universe. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Today we are looking at some things that we have mistakenly believed is true about space. Let's get right into it. Number one, so you've believed your whole life that our beloved sun is yellow, the color of warmth and daylight, right? Well, brace yourself for a mind-blowing revelation because our sun is not what it seems. Prepare for a shocker because despite what we've all been taught, our sun is actually green. Let that sink in for a moment. Astounding, isn't it? Our sun, the heart of our solar system, emits energy across various wavelengths. But the wavelength it emits most intensely is closest to green. However, due to the fascinating properties of Earth's atmosphere, particularly its ability to scatter shorter wavelengths of light like blue more efficiently, the sun doesn't appear green to our eyes. Instead, this scattering effect, combined with the way our eyes perceive light, makes the sun appear yellow to us here on Earth. This interplay of sunlight and the atmosphere is a beautiful example of how nature's complexities often go unnoticed in our daily lives. Number two, Here's another commonly believed falsehood about the sun. While it is undeniably hot, reaching temperatures unimaginable to us, it's not actually on fire in the way you might think. Quite shocking, right? Instead of being a giant ball of fire, the sun operates more akin to a colossal nuclear reactor. Through the process of nuclear fusion, it combines hydrogen atoms under immense pressure and heat to create helium inside its core releasing an incredible amount of energy that lights up our solar system. Number three, do you recall those dramatic movie scenes where spaceships are depicted going down in an explosion, surrounded by the silent vacuum of outer space? This imagery, crafted to grip the audience with its intense and visually stunning scenes, is pure fiction. In reality, space being a vacuum doesn't carry sound the way Earth's atmosphere does, so those explosive sounds wouldn't be heard. Moreover, the portrayal of explosions in space is often exaggerated for dramatic effect, diverging significantly from what would occur in a real outer space scenario. Number four, have you ever found yourself gazing up at the vast night sky, its endless expanse peppered with countless twinkling stars, and thought to yourself, it's impossible to count all these stars? This overwhelming feeling of awe and wonder at the sheer unlimitedness of our universe is a common experience shared by many. Yet fascinatingly, with the advent of advanced astronomical tools and a bit of patience, it turns out you can indeed embark on the seemingly impossible task of counting them. This endeavor not only deepens our appreciation for the cosmos, but also challenges our understanding of the universe's vastness and our place within it. With every star counted, we unravel a tiny part of the great cosmic puzzle, bringing us one step closer to comprehending the infinite beauty that surrounds us. Number five, movies frequently portray the asteroid belt as a densely packed minefield, suggesting that navigating through it necessitates exceptional piloting skills to adeptly dodge and weave between the rocks. This portrayal paints a scene where space pilots must perform intricate maneuvers to avoid catastrophic collisions. However, in reality, the asteroid belt is not nearly as crowded as films would have us believe. The distances between asteroids are vast, with millions of kilometers separating them, meaning that the chances of actually encountering one while passing through are quite slim. Furthermore, the average size of these asteroids varies greatly, with many being relatively small, further reducing the likelihood of a direct encounter. Space missions that have passed through or near the asteroid belt, such as probes sent to the outer planets, have navigated the region without the need for the dramatic piloting depicted in movies. So despite the dramatic portrayals in films, navigating the asteroid belt doesn't quite require the daredevil stunts we've been led to believe. In truth, the journey through this part of our solar system is less about dodging imminent threats and more about traversing vast stretches of emptiness, punctuated by the occasional rock. Number six, being in space would make you freeze instantly no, it doesn't work like that. While it is true that space is incredibly cold, humans in a spacesuit would not freeze instantly. The reason behind this has to do with the vacuum of space. Without any air or matter to conduct heat away from the body, our bodies retain heat quite well in the vacuum of space. 
Astronauts on spacewalks have to be careful not to overheat as their body heat cannot dissipate as easily. Additionally, modern spacesuits are equipped with heaters to keep astronauts at a comfortable temperature during their time in space. So while being in the vacuum of space may seem like a frigid nightmare, it's not as deadly cold as we've been led to believe. However, that doesn't mean it's a walk in the park either. Space is still an incredibly inhospitable environment for humans, with many other dangers and challenges to overcome. Number 7. A popular myth that captures many people's imagination is the idea that being exposed to the vacuum of space would cause a human body to explode. This notion, however, is far from the truth. While it is true that the pressure difference between the vacuum of space and our bodies would cause some gases to expand, it's not nearly enough to cause a human body to explode. Many studies have shown that humans can survive up to 90 seconds in a vacuum without any permanent damage. This has been demonstrated through various experiments and even accidents, such as the infamous spacesuit leak during a NASA training session in 1965. In this incident, astronaut Jim LeBlanc's spacesuit malfunctioned and he was exposed to the vacuum of space for a brief period. While he did suffer some minor injuries, he made a full recovery and went on to have a successful career at NASA. Number 8. Do you believe that space is extremely cold? It might be time to reconsider that common belief. Interestingly enough, space itself doesn't have a temperature in the way we usually understand it on Earth. This is because temperature measures how fast atoms and molecules move. But in the near vacuum of space, there are too few particles to measure in this manner. Therefore, without a significant number of particles, space does not possess a temperature in the conventional sense. It's neither hot nor cold, but exists in a state beyond our typical thermal experiences. This fact challenges our earthbound perceptions and invites us to explore the cosmic realm with a more nuanced understanding of its nature. Number 9. What about the hottest planet? Do you still think it is Mercury? While it is true that Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and experiences extreme temperatures, it is not the hottest planet in our solar system. That title belongs to Venus, which has an average surface temperature of 462 degrees Celsius due to its thick atmosphere made up of mostly carbon dioxide. So next time someone asks you about the hottest planet, remember to give Venus some credit. But even Venus pales in comparison to some exoplanets or planets outside of our solar system, which have been discovered with surface temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. The study of these extreme environments has expanded our understanding of the variety and complexity of planetary systems throughout the universe. And lucky but not least, number 10 on our list today is the misconception that the solar system stays put. While it may seem like our solar system is stationary in our galaxy, it's traveling very speedily through space. Our solar system orbits the center of our Milky Way galaxy at a speed of about 828,000 kmh. Not only that, but the entire galaxy is also moving through space along with other galaxies in our local group. This constant motion and interaction between celestial bodies remind us that we are just a small part of a vast and ever-changing universe. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please do us a huge favor by hitting that like button, sharing it with your friends, and dropping a comment below with your thoughts or questions. Your engagement supports our work and helps us reach more curious minds like yours. And if you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button to join our community and dive into more astonishing truths and discoveries about our universe. There's so much more to explore, and we promise to bring you along on this exciting journey. So until our next adventure, keep your eyes on the stars and never stop wondering about the vast cosmos that surrounds us.